Hello, Jessica Amir for the Finance News Network. Joining me over the phone from First Graphene is Executive Director Peter Yude. Peter, hi, welcome back. Thanks, Jessica. It's a pleasure to be speaking with you again. First up to your recent announcement and clarification about vein graphite mining rates from your projects in Sri Lanka. Can you set the record straight for us? Yes, on the t March the 26th, we updated our investors on improved mining rates at their project in Alukatia. Unfortunately, we mentioned our planned target levels and this offended the ASX and so we had to withdraw the commentary about the target. However, if we're achieving roughly 500 kilos a day, then you can work out for yourself that we are going to be very close to achieving the target number that we mentioned. Okay. And Peter, can you tell us about the projects in Sri Lanka? Yeah, Jessica, our focus has been on production from the Alukatia project where we have two operating shafts and the supporting drives that go with that. We have multiple vein intercepts uh, to work on, and through a very consistent effort, we've been able to rationalise the work programs to reduce operating costs. Our ongoing training efforts have ensured that we have improved standards, both safety and operating standards, and increased efficiency. The nature of the mineralisation in Sri Lanka has a boudinage effect, and it pinches and swells. So sometimes we're mining a vein which is 150 centimetres wide and it will pinch down to 10 centimetres and then further on widen out again. So as you can imagine, this has a dramatic influence on your level of daily production and it's not something you can control. And as your listeners may recall, the Alukatia project has high-grade ore with assayed samples from drilling being as high as 99.3% TGC. So this makes an excellent raw material product for use in our graphene production facility. Thanks, Peter. So when will FGR update the market with actual mine production? We'll be looking to provide updates in future quarterlies as we go forward. You must keep in mind that mining is a small aspect of our business and it's being undertaken for risk mitigation on the supply of high-grade graphite for the more significant focus of graphene production and associated IP developments. Also, we remain the only company to have been granted a new Class A graphite mining licence in Sri Lanka for 25 years. Last question now, Peter. I understand you do have a booth at ID TEDx in Berlin next week. Yes, I work with Tom Keenan, the sales director at ID TechX, and got a good location in the Graphene Pavilion. The Graphene Pavilion's an initiative of the Graphene Council, of which we are a corporate member. The stand at ID TechX will be manned by Andy Goodwin, uh, Warwick Grigger and myself and after the conference Warwick is continuing on to meetings in the UK and the USA. Peter Yude as always thanks so much for the update. My pleasure Jessica and thanks for talking to us.